and his crew has got his back. And what I love about that is that, you know, having a crew behind you will definitely boost your morale and make you play better, right? You'll yes. feel like you're right at home playing at a Smash Fest with your buddies. Yes. I would say Yasa and Javi are the favorites in uh, when you look at the paperwork. Uh, they're the favorites to take this game. Let's see what uh, 007 and Linguitas have to say about this. Yeah, we will definitely see. I, I like how in the beginning you saw Don't Seven and Linguitas definitely uh, knock them off to the side of the stage, looking like they're you know they had really good presence there. Oh, Asado, he should have waited. I think he should have trusted Javi. Yeah. To, yeah. And uh, Javi was not expecting that, as you can see, there was no DI whatsoever. No, yeah. not even an up B. Uh, uh, no, yeah, that was a miscommunication. Sometimes you gotta watch out, you know, in teams, trust is everything. Yes. Like, if you know, if you have your boy in the lead, you don't wanna try to swing too soon, you know, unless he, he you know, he decides to, like, give up his positioning and let you uh, take the lead. Absolutely, but it'll happen. It'll happen always in team battle. Yeah, yeah, you know, sometimes, Ooh. especially because none of these guys really have headsets. They're in the middle of the match, and they're it, it's in the heat of the moment. Yes. Yeah. Oh, and right there, it looked like, uh, let's see, Linguita's trying to definitely read. Oh, Linguita's in a bad position. That shine spike, 44%, man. That was really early. I like Asa. He's playing really good neutral. He's keeping the stage. Uh, he's maintaining position in the middle of the stage. Mm -hmm. Doing a really good job. Oh, and it looked like 007 was almost a little too low. But still good. I feel like the blue team does best whenever they're close together so far, you know? Oh no, Javi. There goes that stock. Very smart, but Javi to the rescue with that invincibility. We definitely would have seen a wave shine uh, up throw up air if Javi did not. Oh, oh. Linguitas didn't. S he thought he grabbed the edge, maybe. Ah, oh, I, I know that feeling. When you're playing, you think you grab the edge and then you fall right past, and by the time you realize it, you're already SD because you're a fast faller, you know? Let's hope it doesn't get in his head and he can get his mind back into the game and uh -huh. just brush it up. Oh, but Javi's in a good spot to get the shine spike. Messed up a little bit there. No, another opportunity. Yeah, blue team's really good at cornering, but red team's conversions, man. You have to watch out. Oh, oh so much damage. Yeah, the, uh, Linguita should be able to come back. So brave, dude. There was an up smash being charged right there. And this should be the stock. Oh, oh, no. Just a little bit too late, and that down smash. Yeah, but... Oh, oh what, what in the world? On? Well, they do have... Uh, let's calm down, because Red Team definitely has 0% on both sides. Spaghetti everywhere right now. <laughs> oh my we God. need a shine spike right now from Linguitas. Linguitas, will you be able to get it? Taking too much damage already. The man is at... Oh, he's gone. First game. Go to Asan Javi. A lot of miscommunications between both teams. A few mistakes here and there by both teams. Yep. I think the nerves are real, man. Yeah, dude. They Yeah, the nerves are definitely real. Both of these guys, there have been moments where I felt like uh, uh, double seven Linguitas were looking good and back and forth uh, with Javi as well. You know, just yeah, I, I, it, it, it's kind of hard to guess who exactly was, uh, you know, more dominant. Yeah, yeah was dominant. Yeah, yeah, it's uh, definitely could have been anybody's game. There was a lot of mistakes going on. Let's hope they can uh, they can just settle down and just play their game in the second game. Oh. <laughs> These guys, dude. Now, let's remember, too, 007 and Linguitas have something to prove. They're representing Celaya, mm -hmm. and uh, they're the up-and-comers. You know, okay. they're, they're the new scene that's uh, making a breakthrough. And uh, Asa and Javi, they're established already. So it's kind of like the newcomers versus the veterans. Mm -hmm. That's always, always a cool thing to see, right? Like, in due time, you'll probably see these guys, who know, probably taking over the, uh, the team scene here in uh, Latin America. We've seen it happen time and time again, but they're already keeping up pretty well with these guys. Like, yeah, they might be down two stocks, but it's not its not like really bad, you know? Look yeah, at that, they're already bringing it close again. I'd like to see the blue team try to keep it close on a stage like this. Peach with Fox, so much damage can be racked Ooh, up. And 007 doing exactly that. Oh no. Bad spot here, oh! Get the angle. Okay, but this is good right here. Oh. All right, that was actually a really solid uh, air dodge. But one thing I think uh, Asana needs to watch out for these uh, for jumping into the down smashes. Every time I've noticed there's been more than one uh, occasion where Asa would jump into the down smashes on the platform. Yeah, and 007 just uh, taking Asa 
Oh. Taking that stuff really, really well, using it in the Randall this for a minute. Nice. You saw that. Happy looked like he was trying to follow up there, but he trusted in Ling uh, Asa. He said, all right, of course it's going to be better for the Sheik to just go and get the fair. Yes, and now uh, Linguita's in, on his last stock. Not able to grab the stage uh, in time. Yeah, these edge guards, you know, as far as the neutral is concerned, I'm pretty decently pleased with the way they're playing, but the edge guards definitely need to get tied up with that. Yeah. That could have been a punish right there on the up B for Happy. Oh. Nice. Happy just keeping it simple here with the follow ups. Now we only have Linguitas here. No, 007 left on the field. Linguitas is gone. Still gonna be a three out of five, though. Yeah, it's still gonna be three out of five. Yeah, uh, they gotta start thinking of what they're gonna do on the next uh, oh. match. Correct the mistakes. That's an up smash. That yep. Is. Two well right now. I said Javi. All right. So. Hmm. Well, it's looking like I mean, on paper, this is what we thought was gonna happen. Definitely. Yeah, the the veterans are gonna we're probably gonna take this. Uh, but I'm really surprised at the way uh, 007 and Linguitas are playing. Yeah. The they're, they're definitely I think they, 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 they can take a game. Yeah. I think they can they do it, absolutely. But can they take a set? That's the question that's on everyone's mind. Yes. Going back to uh, Dreamland. A pretty big stage here, all right, of course. You know, pretty obvious. But what I'm afraid of is will this stage actually lead to the downfall of the blue team? Are they better when they're separated, you know? We already see 007 trying to face off against Asa on the other side of the stage. Is that what the blue team wants? That's probably it, because I definitely see a lot more synergy between the red team, between Asa and Javi. Yeah. And uh, they probably want to keep them apart. Okay. And just fight their own individual battles. That up smash is not going to kill. The group is going to make it back to the stage. Oh, oh what happened didn't there? didn't do anything. Okay, another shot. There it is. Again, that goes back to what I was saying, right? The uh, the edge guards. The edge guards are definitely important. Ooh, okay. So that was definitely cool seeing um, Linguita try to go for that edge guard. I mean, those tech Also, they're keeping they're keeping it pretty tight. At least uh, stock wise, percentage wise. Okay, 007 trying to set up. That was good. He's waiting to see if he can force Sheik on stage, but Javi saving right there. Yeah, coast to coast. So smart. Okay, look at Asa. Ooh, I thought we were gonna see something really cool there, but that was a really fast high beat. Oh yeah. Asa taking the lead here, and all that pressure from those space bears, dude. Look at Asa again. He's always trying to get the middle, and uh, unfortunately he loses the stock there. But that's what he's trying to do. Just get into the middle and stay there and rack up damage. Just that when I was about to, yeah, blue team actually in the lead, but it's percentage wise, it doesn't really look like it, right? Because if they both were to lose their stocks, it, they would be actually at a deficit. So, right now, definitely want to see these guys get the, get the damage that they can get. Ooh, that looked like so the ground will look like hot lava for a second because Javi was just charging that up smash. Uh, miscommunication right there between the red team actually led to that forward smash. You see the angle? There it is. That's ah. the edge guard. Yeah, Javi covered it really good. I see the shared stock. Uh -huh. Edge guard time. Smart. Ooh. That was a very good edge guard by uh, 007 right uh -oh. there. Uh-oh. Linguitas, will he be able to get this? Oh, no. Oh. Javi can't save in time. No, we, have a, we have a match. Yeah, we actually have what you were talking about. The, the situation where they could probably win one game. Unless. Ooh. Okay. Yeah, unless the red crazy. team has something to do about it. Oh, oh that, that is the That's end. Stuck. Yeah. yeah, we're not going to see any saves by Linguitas. Oh, Linguitas. 007 trying to bring it back. Oh, and there it is. 3-0. Three 3-0s three from both winner semi so far, man. Yeah, and then good stuff. Uh, good, good stuff to uh, Linguitas and 007 there. I mean, that was a really tough team. Javi and uh, Asa are facing.